All right, this video is designed to help you with your bedroom painting worksheet. I'm going to draw a room here. Here's your walls one and three. And here's walls two and four. I'm going to make it a long, skinny room. Uh, let's say that uh, it's 21 feet long. And it's only three feet wide. Okay, so... Over on my sheet here, it says wall length of wall one and wall three. I'm saying it's only three feet wide, but it tells us we need a mixed fraction. I'm not allowing you to be that have it that easy. So let's say it's three and a third feet. Uh, so wall one and three are three and a third, or I could have said three feet, uh, four inches. Um, and then walls um, two and four then, Instead of 21 feet, uh, let's say they're 21 and a half feet. So uh, 21 feet, six inches. I'm gonna write it as a fraction this time. So it does say write as a mixed fraction. All these I want you to write as a mixed fraction. Standard ceiling height is usually eight feet, uh, but let's say it's we're going to go with a short room. The ceiling is only four and a sixth foot, four feet, two inches. All right, so I just, let me do that in green just to keep it consistent. Four feet, six. All right, so over here, I'm going to work out then the area of all the walls. Here, the wall of one and three should be the same. Two and four should be the same. So over here where we do my work, I'm going to say wall one and three, and then over there I'll do walls two and four. Okay, so wall one is three and a third times four and a sixth. Now, with adding and subtracting, you can add whole numbers and then add fractions. Um, you can't do that with multiplying. We could do 3 times 4, then 3 times a 6, then a third times 4, and then a third times a 6th. Uh, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to write it as mixed numbers. Then we're hoping we can simplify early. We can a little bit here. The 3 and 25 cannot be simplified. The 10 and 6, we can divide both those by 2 and keep our numbers down a little bit. Okay. So now I'm multiplying straight across. 5 times 25. Well, if you have five quarters, that's a dollar twenty-five, so 125. Three times three is nine. So my answer is 125 ninths. I need to change that to an improper fraction by dividing, divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down, bring it on back. So my answer is 13 with a remainder of eight, so 13 and eight ninths. So that wall is 13 and eight ninths. So before I move on, I want to make sure, because it does say to leave your answer as a mixed fraction, I want to make sure that makes sense for a wall to be eight ninths, or 13 and eight ninths, about 13 feet. Well, if it's four feet tall and three feet wide, four times three is 12, so it should be a little bigger than 12. So that answer does make sense. So I can go ahead and write that down for this wall down here too. I know we wouldn't be able to convert it to inches, but that's okay. That's not what this project's about. All right, so then wall two and four, 21 and a half feet by four and a sixth. 21 and a half, four and a sixth. Make sure we're showing all our work. 21 and a half times four and one six. Okay, so again, change it to improper fractions. Uh-oh, nothing to simplify. We're going to get up a, a big old nasty number. 43 times 25 is going to be quite large. So I do have to show my work off to the side. You can check with calculators, but you got to show me your work. not that bad. 
1,075 twelfths. Okay, so now, again, I need to change that back from an improper back to a mixed number by dividing. 12 goes into 107. Uh, well, let's see. 8 dozen is 96. I bet that's as close as I can get. Yep, remainder 11. Uh, so it's 89 and a remainder of 7 twelfths, 89 and 7 twelfths. Okay, again, I can use a calculator to check this. It is important that I have right answers. I can estimate 2 to make sure. Uh, 4 and a 6 times 21. Well, 4 times 21 is 84, so I know my answer is going to be a little bit bigger than 84. Okay, so now for the total area. This part gets a, a little bit tougher. So I've got all four areas to add together. And you might have some really big, awkward numbers right now. I did not leave you a good space for this. If you don't have a good space for it, feel free to use another sheet too. So I'm going to add 13 and 8 ninths plus 13 and 8 ninths plus 89 and 7 twelfths plus 89 and 7 twelfths. I could add them all together. I'm going to add 13 and 8 ninths to 13 and 8 ninths, which gives me 26 and 16 ninths. And then 9 goes into 16 one time with a remainder of 7. So the answer is 27 and 7 ninths. Okay, then 89 and 7 twelfths. Plus 89 and 7 twelfths. And again, you can always say C attached sheet. Gives you 188. No. I'm sorry, 178 and 14 twelfths. Well, I can't leave it as 14 twelfths. 14 twelfths is the same as 1 and 2 twelfths. 179 and a sixth. Okay, so now I need to add my 179 and a sixth to 27 and 7 ninths. Okay, so I need a, I can add my whole numbers and add my fractions. Two hundred and six there. Okay, I need a common denominator here. Well, that's not too bad. I can use eighteen. So there's my answer: two hundred and six and seventeen eighteenths. And six and seventeen eighteenths. I think that's what I said. Yeah. All right. So now I want to estimate to make sure I'm close. Uh, Thirteen plus ninety is about a hundred. Plus another hundred. My answer should be about two hundred. Good to go there. All right. So now for the next portion, the paint. One gallon of your paint covers. Um, you should have done some research. Um, I'm going to say I got Valspar or something that was 300 square feet. So how many gallons will I need to paint my room? Well, I only need 206 square feet, so I only need one gallon. Let's say I needed two gallons, though, just to make it a little more complex. So let's say I'm going to back up on my numbers here and say I whatever I used was 100 square hundred. 150 square feet. 150 square feet, so I needed two gallons to reach 300 to have enough. All right, gallons needed paint. The paint cost per gallon. Uh, this paint was $31.12 a gallon, which you, you won't find it priced like that, but that's what I'm doing for this one. So I need two gallons over here on paint cost work. I'm going to work out $31.12 times two. Do not line up your decimals. 
count how many spots over we move it, $62.24. $62.24 for two gallons. Okay, the sales tax, cost of the paint times 0 0.07. So 62.24 times 0 0.07. Here, the decimals do line up, not on purpose, but they do. Uh, remember, we always round money to the nearest penny, to the nearest cent. the decimal this time four times so the answer look at this nasty number four and three thousand five hundred sixty eight ten thousandths well I know I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth um, since six will make it go up it's four dollars and thirty six cents so then my total paint cost well I'm just gonna add straight up and down right now is $66.60. Not a very nice number, uh, but that's not a lot. All right, good luck on your work.